Well, this is one way to start the day. Come on in, then, you fucks. Oh, more got through than I wanted. Oh, shit. Back up, Kenny. We're out of ice cream, you bitch. Plus, we don't make meth-flavored. He is dead. All right. <laughs> Fuck you. And a couple more. The door is broken. Get out of here, you little piece of shit. Dead. All right, what's up, everyone? Glock9 here, and welcome back to Ramblin' Man. It is the morning of day 12. Let's spend some skill points here. We got four of them now. I'm going to go into Shrimp level 6. And I don't think we can go Skull Crusher or Sexual Tyrannosaurus yet. We can't. Let's go, uh, let's just go Fortitude, level 3, and let's go Run and Gun. Okay, my plan for today is to head down the road to the west to that big hotel that's been completely remade. I'm dying to check that place out. But first, I want to head down the road to the east to that underpass we spotted in the last episode when the bear was chasing us. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I did turn on Feral Sense. I think it's pretty obvious the way we were swarmed by zombies this morning. One thing that is interesting, though, about that, that I didn't know because I hadn't messed with it, is you can turn it on for just the day or just the night or both. I turned it on for both for now. Here's that underpass I was talking about. There's a door right there. There's an open door right there. Let's deal with uh, Skinny Pete first. Pop. All right, this might be a cool place to build a base, you know? Even though with zombies being able to dig down, it could get a little hairy. Uh, is this a plug? Nope. What about this? Nope. Ooh, the sewer. Is that a fake wall? No, that is a real wall. That one is probably too. Here's a hatch that goes down. Nothing there. Oh, zombies. We're going to be dealing with them a lot more. As if it wasn't bad enough already. I just made things a lot worse. There we go. Oh! Fucking Muhammad Ali over here. Man, they are a lot creepier when they're crawling at you, aren't they? Alright. Look at this shit. Should we do a Ninja Turtle series, huh? Live in the sewers? This is pretty cool. We're going back up already, though. A zombie and a crack a book crate. He's up. Pop. Oh, couple more. Get out of here. So anyway, with the feral sense, I decided to do both the day and the night because it's rambling, man. It's not like we hunker down in the same place every night, so who cares, right? Blades do 10% more damage at night. I'll probably sell that, and it sounds like we got a lot of zombies here. Holy shit! <laughs> All right. Oh, we might have to get back down into the sewer. Oh, I closed this hatch. Get down there. Oh shit. This is bad. At least we were loaded up in all of our guns. Get out of my way, you fucker! Oh my god. Broken arm. Thirty-five hit points. Let's go, you bitches. I ain't running away. Oh, here comes a mountain lion. That will make me run away. Look at this guy dropping in. Oh, that hurt. Oh, shit. Mountain lion's taking his sweet-ass time. We gotta go. Fuck you. Here we are. Hotel Zambona. Zombies bone yet. This should be interesting. I'm pretty sure this is just a remake of the hotel that was in previous alphas, which wasn't a dungeon style. It was just a very plain Jane hotel. There was never that good of loot there. There was no ma uh, main stash or anything like that. So I usually avoided it uh, most of the time. I need to get my hands on some cloth so we can make a splint. What are you doing dancing around my motorcycle, bro? Get the fuck out of here. Jesus. Holy shit. We're going to die. All right. Uh, we got to be more conscious about our health. <laughs> this is not getting me cloth. This is just going to get us some leather. That's fine, though. We can sell the leather. Uh, Moe's breaking through the glass. Dude, this is going to be insane with this feral sense, man. They don't leave you alone. I mean, they didn't leave us alone as it was 
Now it's just going to be uh, constant. I mean, we should level up faster, though. <laughs> All right? Okay, I need cloth. Where can I get cloth? Um, let me take some glue, because I need to make duct tape also. And uh, let's just get at it, I guess. Oh, here we go. Now I'm good on the paper. Bag up, nurse. Oh, I feel like I missed some things in the lobby. We can always backtrack, though. Let's just see where this leads us. Into a room? That'll be good, because we can get cloth from a bed. Wood? I'll take the wood. Here we go. Alright, any zombies in the closet? Nope. Let's get some cloth right here. Here we go, let's make some duct tape. Bam, and we might as well finish taking this bed apart. Let's go, uh, splint. Bam. Nice. Alright, that is taken care of. Let's check the bathroom out. Murky water, I'm good. Good on the rotten flesh. Guess this is the way to go. I don't want to go too far, though. Like I said, I want to backtrack and make sure we didn't miss anything in the lobby. Iron. Any zombies in this closet? A oh, garment bag. Oh, there you go. Can sell those things. Oh, this is taking us up to the second floor. Don't want to go there yet. Let's check this room out. Empty closet again. One of these times there's going to be a zombie in that closet, I feel like. Ooh, level one pistol. I'll scrap that for the pistol parts. Okay, scrap the nail. Take the rest. Might as well take the brass, you know. Wind up scrapping a bunch of the brass shit during our adventure in here. And brass sells. <laughs> Zombies. Sometimes they look funny as shit when they're crawling, and sometimes they look creepy as shit. I guess it just depends on the situation. Back up, Skinny Pete. Oh, is this where we started? I think that just took us all around. Yeah. That's good. This is where I wanted to go. To check the lobby, make sure we didn't miss anything. We can take this chandelier apart. Should give us some steel. Forged iron. I mean, it used to anyway. There's some steel. One piece of steel. Whatever. I'll take it, I guess. All right, let's just see if we didn't miss anything, and then I'm sure we got to get up that uh, ramp that's going to take us to the second floor. We got a little kitchen area back here. Let me kill this crawler. Just going to annoy the shit out of me. Got an elevator shaft here with an open hatch. Some medical supplies down here. Vitamin. I'll take it. What else is going on down here? Holy shit. Is that the main stash? What the fuck? All right, then. Wake up, everyone. It's your day of reckoning. Or it might be my day of reckoning. So we'll find out. Get up there. Oh, my God. Oh, get up. Well, we accidentally found the main stash. I don't know what the hell's going on. Maybe this, uh... Maybe there was zombies back here and they broke that door open. I don't know. Oh, my God. We're gonna die. Whatever, though, is what it is. Let's take care of these zombies. I'm going to get down there. I'm going to grab the main stash. We might as well. And I'm still going to continue checking out the rest of the hotel, though. I mean, it was wide open back here. Come on. Get down there. Look at this. All right, that thing is locked. I got a couple lock picks in the motorcycle. Nice. Another recock. Save that for the horde, maybe, or we, we'll just sell it. We'll see. Uh, I don't have my lockpicks on me, and this is what? Uh, 10,000 hit points, this thing? Yeah. All right, well... Let's just check this area out. I don't really want to run this hotel backwards. 
But let's just see what's going on over here. Ooh, ammo crate. Oh, and it doesn't take 15 seconds to open it. I'll put that cripple -a mod in the shotgun. And I'm picking up the uh, magnum ammo for now because we'll just sell it when we're done here. There's a uh, vending machine over here. That doesn't work. Ammo pile. Nice. Alright, now it's getting a little crazy. Let's not go that way. Like I said, I don't want to run this hotel backwards. So we'll take this apart. And we'll go back to the lobby. And we'll work through the hotel the correct way. <laughs> I mean, look at that shit. Even when I'm not trying to do a smash and grab, we end up doing a smash and grab. Now we got a crate here. Oh, this is a shipping truck backed up to the door here. Let's pop open this Shamway crate. Hobo stew, I'll eat it. And uh, Grandpa's moonshine, we'll hold on to that. That sells for a good amount. There's got to be something else in here, right? Definitely something other than cardboard and cobblestone. I hope we don't get fucking backed into a corner here. Oh, there's a weapons bag. Let's get it. Ooh, machete and bow parts. And we got a backpack. With an empty can. Now, I will dump that bone knife for that machete. Let's take the mod out of there. Just throw that thing on the ground. Bring the machete down. Put the mod in there. And we're good to go. Get out of here, crawler. Here. Try out the new machete. Choppity chop, bitch. Wood and glue, and we might as well search the kitchen area here, and then we'll go drop some stuff off in the motorcycle. Then we will continue on through the hotel the correct way. We we'll grab the forged iron so we can make a few repair kits here. There we go. This way we can repair the pistol, the machete, and whatever else we need to. Oh, come on, can I go through my inventory for a goddamn second? Relentless. Okay, uh, let's repair the pistol, like I said, and the machete, and we'll hold on to that other one, because the shotgun really doesn't need to be repaired yet. This is the way we're going, right? This should lead us around to the ramp up to the second floor. Let's close that door. <laughs> Not that that's really going to matter. Let's get in here, close that door. Any zombies in the closet? Nope. Jeez, where'd you fuckers come from? It's like magic, they just appear. Garment bag. Tank top, I'm good. Oh my god. Let's repair that door. Try that again. Kind of backed into a little corner here, close the door. Oh, she made it through. Yeah, you missed, lady. Still alive. Not anymore, she's not. Oh my god. What the fuck? Close the door. Now we're trapped in even a smaller room. Great. Open, blast, close. Ah, fuck it. Okay. God damn it. Oh my god. Just when you think it's over. Let's get out of this room. I'll let that guy beat on the glass. Fuck him. Um, we didn't check the bathroom. Rocky water, no. Brass, scrap it, since we do have raw brass on us, and we'll sell that. Once we get out of here, we're going to go see the uh, trader. Got some stuff to sell. All right, let's repair this sledgehammer. Uh, let's let the brass finish scrapping first, then we'll repair it. Well, kitchen area, give me a Mega Crush. Red tea. I swear, this world, it's a parallel universe where Mega Crushes don't exist. 
Oh, well, that's steel. Got this elevator shaft here. That's sealed up. And a creepy hallway with a flashlight. This has got to be the way to go. Get out of here, nurse. A lot of nurses in this hotel. Oh, stripper. Hey, thanks for that loot bag. Let's see what she was holding on to. Oh, look at that. Iron helmet. One of her clients must be a freak. Uh, I'm going to scrap the helmet, drink the red tea, take the ammo, and eat the sham. Okay. That vending machine doesn't work. Scrap the can, take the brass. There's another vending machine. Good on the sewing kits. And he's zombies in there. Nope. One of these times there's going to be a zombie. Maybe. I feel like there's going to be. Who knows? Nine bucks. Good on the paper. I'll scrap the nails. All right, let's keep it moving here. Oh, waking up zombies. Stripper. Dead. Spider zombie. Also dead. Those guys are easy to kill. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Fucking. The ducking mechanic is hilarious. Oh. This vending machine also doesn't work. I probably should be taking all these vending machines apart, but I'm just going to keep it moving here. There was a, there was a, um, a stairwell, which is probably the way to go. I just want to check these last two rooms before we head that way. Stone. And let's head across here. Nothing. Paper. Wood. And I'll skip the electrical parts. Put in the broken glass and this glue, too. We don't need to hold on to one bottle of glue. I got more glue in the motorcycle if we need it. I'm assuming we're going up here. Yeah, let's go up. Well, here's the rooftop, which we know the main loot isn't up here. It's all the way down in the basement. So... Oh! Damn it! I <laughs> tried to close that door. It didn't work. Boom! All right, here they come. Oh, no more bullets in there. Or there. Come on. All right. There's a bird. I was waiting to see a bird up here. A couple more zombies. Dead. Dead. Looks like we're going back down. And I see a hole in the roof. I mean, I figured it was going to lead us back down. Because we know the main stash, like I said, is down in the basement. Alright. Guess we're dropping in. I tell you, though, so far, loving it. It's a million times better than the hotel that was in the game. Agility goggles. I mean, I hope this doesn't... Re this can't replace the Hotel of Death. That hotel was already perfect. I haven't seen it in Alpha uh, 20 yet, so I don't know if they've made any changes to it or not. I don't think it needed any changes. I think it was, like I said, perfect the way it was. This is the, uh, this is the regular hotel. It didn't have a name to it. There was a pool in the back. Another non-working vending machine. That's me, stepping on tiles, waking zombies up. Um, but then there's another hotel, the Ostrich Hotel, which also wasn't a dungeon-style hotel, but it was laid out really good, and it was gigantic. I don't think the Ostrich Hotel really needed any changes, and I'm not sure if they made any changes to it either, so we'll just have to explore the world a bit more. Now, the Puffer Coat does give us... A lot more cold resistance than the college jacket, but the college jacket gives us a 10% increase in run speed. So I'm going to keep the college jacket on for now because we're not freezing. You know, if we were constantly freezing, 
then uh, I would be annoyed by that, and I would throw on the puffer jacket. But since we're not, I'm going to keep the additional run speed. Hey, you know, the bottle of acid. I'll put that in storage at Joel's along with the other one, just in case we ever do get to the point where we want to craft a Jeep. We're going to need four bottles of that stuff. Man, a lot of vending machines in this hotel. And none of them work. Huh? That vending machine doesn't work either. Probably should be taking all these things apart. I mean, all we really get is parts to sell and more steel. Hey, what is this? Ladder going down. Scrap the cement for stone. And I'm good on the murky water. Now, I'm assuming we haven't searched this bathroom down here yet. I would have noticed this ladder in the ceiling, right? I mean, maybe not. I don't... Tend to look up that often. No. All right, we haven't searched this bathroom yet. Um, we skipped some things, though. Didn't we? What's, uh, this is just another room, probably. Not much going on in here. Yeah, just another bathroom with paper and bullshit. Lead I'm not taking. And then, uh, down here is just another room, right? Garment bag. I'm good on the skirt. Stone. Okay, I guess we are going down that ladder. Let's do it. I guess Kenny got tired of waiting for me. Let's close that door. Wood, and I'm good on the buckshot. Paper, no. Oh, shit. This is open right here. Where's Kenny at? Where'd Kenny go? Close that door. Oh, he made it in. Fuck out of here. There's Kenny. Jeez. Getting my ass kicked in this episode. Well, things could always be worse. It could be Kenny. That's something to always remember. If life isn't... Shit! Man, fuck, we're infected now. We got a concussion. I was gonna say, always remember, things could be worse. You could be Kenny. But honestly, you could be me. <laughs> I, I think I might have it worse than Kenny. At least Kenny's suffering ends relatively quickly. Mine just keeps going and going. Come on! Jeez. I'd like to not die in this hotel. Oh, that vending machine doesn't work, obviously. That door is locked. Got a couple of rooms back here. Oh, this is the room that leads down to the main stash. This is the way I didn't want to go. All right. I guess we're done here, then. That was fun. It would have been nice to do the hotel the correct way. Like I said, in the beginning, I don't know why that... That door leading into this room up here was open, but it was, you know? Fuck off, Kenny. Let's go grab those two lockpicks out of the bike and see if we can get lucky and crack into that hardened chest. If this doesn't work, we'll mark this on the map and we can always come back. Maybe Joel will have jailbreaker candy and a lockpick, and then we can come back right away. Here we go, last shot at it. Come on. Yes. That's nice. Ooh. Whole bunch of stuff right there. Gold chainsaw schematic, which looks cool, but I'm going to sell. Let's go see Joel. Now, as a matter of fact, it's only hour 15, so maybe we'll do a job for Joel. Why not? Well, the painkiller got rid of our concussion. We still have an infection we need to get rid of. Nothing in there I want. We'll see if Joel has uh, any antibiotics. What up, Joel? Put my uh, 
second bottle of acid in there with my first bottle of acid. And let me sell you some shit. Well, I don't feel like doing a buried supply, so let's do one of these fetch quests. Uh, I guess the closer one. Because then maybe we can actually bang out two of these real quick. Ah, look at this. Simon's Electronics. Because that guy looks just like Simon's character in Ark. And we got a taco stand. Gotta check this out. Where are my tacos? There better be tacos in here. If not, I'm gonna be pretty pissed off. That's not a taco. That's smoothie. It's not bad. It should just automatically be, be tacos in a taco truck, though. You know, call me crazy. But that's the way I would program it if I was, uh... the guy in charge. What the hell? This world just does not want to give me a mega crush. We got all sorts of zombies now. I kind of forgot we had Feral Sense turned on. Oh my god, we're gonna get cornered and die in a taco truck. Alright. Oh. Don't worry, buddy. You're better off that way. There were no tacos in there. There we go. Job is active. Now we need to find the supplies and get out of here. And we'll do that once every zombie in the world stops trying to kill me. Well, they won't stop coming, so we're going to try and do this quick. We'll loot, and then we'll kill, and then we'll loot some more. Oh my god. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, shit. Paper. Paper. A lot of paper, electrical parts, and plastic parts. Not really interested in any of those things. Wood. I'll take the wood. Iron. I'll always take the iron. More plastic parts. More electrical parts. Ah, the back office. With a zombie. Let's close that door. What? Come on. Dead. And, uh, looks like the supplies are above us, so... Probably up on the roof, I imagine. Birds? Zombies, where are you at? Oh, there's the main stash, and it looks like the satchel is right here. Nice. Got some zombies and a bird. And that's that. Let's grab this stash and we'll get back to Joel's. Now it is past hour 18 and no thunder or lightning yet, so I'm assuming no horde tonight. This would make a pretty good place to hold down a horde, so we're not going to sleep here tonight. We'll keep that option open. Ah, oh, look at that. Um, robotic turret schematic. Nothing in there. I guess I'm going to read that. We got to, right? Just in case, uh... We get a chance to craft one. I want to be able to do that. All right, let's roll. We'll head back to Joel's, get our reward, take another job, see where he sends us, and that'll probably be where we're going to spend the night. We'll come back to Simon's Electronics maybe one night when we're getting a horde and and uh, use that place as a base. See if we can find uh, a tree stump for some honey. Oh, look, a vet. Might find some antibiotics in there, but probably gonna find some zombie dogs in there as well. There's a bear. Let's, uh, let's save that for another day. What you got for me, Joel? Molotovs or a bar brawling book? I'm gonna take the Molotovs. This time, I'll remember to light them. There we go, this is perfect. Little house where I would not want to fight a horde, so we'll spend the night here. I already got zombies after us, let's close that door. Deal with these two fools. Dead. Come on, lady. Dead. Oh, it's gonna be an interesting night, I'll tell you that much. 
up. We'll put hatches down at the doorways. This way we can open the door and deal with the zombies without having to worry about them rushing in. And, uh, it is what it is. You know, we could always take shelter up on the roof or the second story. Knock the steps out, just let them beat on the walls all night if we want. But I think the hatch is at the doorway is a better idea, because then at least we can get some XP. I'll also kill the helmet light mod and try and be as quiet as possible. Alright, let's get started here. Pistol Pete book, armor piercing ammo, I'll sell that. And uh, fire based weapons, burn longer, I'll read that. Since we just picked up 10 Molotovs, but like I said this time, I'll remember to light them first. Here we go, job's over. But we're gonna wait until tomorrow to get our reward from Wrecked and go- Oh, shit! Okay, gotta check my ceilings better. Oh, BDU pants, we're gonna replace our overalls with those. Going up on the roof, I guess, and uh, are we dropping back in? Somewhere? I forget how this goes. Oh, here we go. Dropping in into the garage. Oh, this is great, we're gonna have Zombies surrounding this garage. It might actually not be a bad idea to stay in the garage for the night. Easier to kind of hold down. Oh, shit. <laughs> Kenny in the corner. Didn't even see you there, Ken. Let's, uh, oh, can't put a frame in the doorway. Not with Kenny's body there. We gotta wait for it to despawn. Ah, feral sense for when you don't want to hoard, but you also want to hoard. Let's go ahead and mark this POI with an X. Call it day 12. And actually, we should probably head out and cruise around and see if we can find tree uh, stumps. I didn't have any luck before, so we can maybe grab some honey and uh, clear up this infection before it gets any worse. I mean, I... I I think honey only clears it up to 5% and we're over 5% right now, but I could be wrong about that. Got a couple right here. Shit. Hold up, can you get honey from these bee forms? I mean, you would think you could. They're new to the game, and they're specific for the honey, or the beekeeper POI, you know? You would think you would get honey from these. Come on, dude, leave me alone, please. Just trying to find some honey, and then I'll go home. No, none there. No, God damn it! I'm gonna get killed out here trying to cure my infection. Oh, well, screw it. We'll try and find antibiotics in the morning. Let me grab my uh, cooking pot out of here. Oh, my God. We had honey in the bike the whole time. I'm so fucking stupid. Well, it looks like it's curing the infection, even though it's at just over 7%. I might have to eat another jar, though, to get it down to nothing. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> what a stupid asshole I am. Fuck off. It's starting already. I'm gonna keep my headlight off. Once this meat is done, I'll turn the campfire off. Actually, I think I want to cook some water, too. But whatever. We'll be fine. I'll hang out in here until the morning, and we'll pick things up on the morning of day 13. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. 
Stick around for more Ramblin' Man, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.